Collaborating with Fly Simulator with the AI that we build. This is very awesome experience. TTS stands for text to speech. It's basically to convert text to the audio that people can understand and experience. Sierra Alpha with Alpha ready to taxi IFR. In Flight Simulator, the typical user scenario of the TTS is air traffic control. And if you listen to the voices in the previous versions, you can easily tell the voice is quite robotic. Not everyone's an expert in the way an airplane should sound. But everyone can tell you when a human voice doesn't sound correct. Because of this, it makes it a real challenge to procedurally generate the human voice in a way that's believable. Traditional TTS is a multi-step process, so it's very complex and the quality is not optimal. I mean, we could record all of the VO that we needed linearly, but it wasn't going to work because when we added up all the variables, we were looking at line counts in the millions. So that was quickly out of the picture. In recent years, we have heavily invested on deep learning TTS our goal is to build a human-like voice so that the player of Life Simulator is able to have an immersive experience when they play the game. Renton Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf ready to go runway tree for IFR to Hillsboro. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha cleared for takeoff runway tree 4. The first challenges we have is definitely the quality and how we can get those kind of naturalness. Air traffic controllers don't necessarily speak in the same way that, say, a customer service representative would. Vice controller on initial contact, you have echo. It's a very tr specific and transactional tone. When it comes to the neural TTS, in order to get a good voice, it's better to have good data. To achieve that, we build a universal TTS model based on 3,000 hours of data. We actually accumulated tons of the data so that this universal model is able to capture the nuance of the audio and generate a more natural voice for the algorithm. What we liked about cognitive services offerings were that they had a much higher fidelity and they sounded a lot more like an actual human voice. Orlando ground 9555 requesting the end of pushback. 9555 request and then pushback received. The second part is about the scalability. We know the ATC has hundreds of voice or thousands of voice because there is different airport in the world. There are more than 50,000 airports, thousands of different aircraft, and an almost infinite combination of tail numbers. So how can we help the developer to have a scalable way to build the voice? When the fire simulator comes to the TTS, we would like to use our pre-built TTS voices to improve the variety of the ATC voices. We can't have the pilot and the tower using the same voice while they're communicating with each other. Fortunately, Azure TTS is built on top of Azure infrastructure. So we have supported more than 100 voices for developers to use off the shelf. By leveraging those pre-built voices, Fly Simulator can use the voices right away and boost their quality. Maintain 1,700 feet. We also talk about how we can build the personality, how we can build the personalized experience into Flight Simulator. Clear to land, runway 26. Customized voice is a new technology that we bring into the Cognitive Service. Any developer can upload their own data, and this self-serving portal is able to build the voice font on the fly. This allowed us to record an actor and then create a voice model using that actor's voice. So instead of you have to write tons of the codes and you have to have a deep knowledge of machine learning, they can define the voice persona and they build their own branded voice. For each of the challenge, the quality, scalability, as the customization, we can address the challenge of building the TTS into the Fry Simulator systematically and holistically. When we started this project, we knew that radio communications between the pilot and the air traffic controllers was going to be a huge part of the experience for Simmers. Azure's Cognitive Services text-to-speech has improved even in the time that we've been using it, and it continues to improve year over year. I'm really excited for where it's headed and what the possibilities would be in the future.